G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing the number 38 Matchbox Honda Motorbike and Trailer. The Honda Motorbike and Trailer debuted in 1968 with an orange trailer and then it made a change to a yellow trailer with a Honda sticker on it. And of course, from 1969 and into 1970 came the super fast era and like a lot of their other castings, the Honda trailer made the transition too. And then there were a few other variations of colors of bikes and all sorts of different versions of the castings. So the super fast is a generous donation from John. Thank you, John. You gave this to me a long time ago. I'm finally getting to it. One of the handlebars has snapped off it. One of the tires is half chewed off. The drawbar on the trailer is bent. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with that. The other one is a restoration job for my father-in-law, Paul. His is the regular wheel, obviously. And um, there's nothing wrong with it apart from the paint. So let's get crack a lacking as they say in the industry, and see what we can do for them both. So looking these over again, the one that's missing the busted handlebar, I'm gonna completely steal Marty Matchbox's idea when he restored his by drilling a hole and using a paper clip and then I might use some putty to try and make it look a little bit more fuller, but it's never gonna look perfect, but I'm gonna have a go at it and we'll see what we can come up with. Trailers will come apart easy. The super fast one will, you know, just pop the clip out. No wonder so many of these missing the rear wheels are just pretty flimsy clip really. It didn't take much to pop it off. I thought that was going to go longer. That might be a lot for this week. <laughs> so I did have a go at dremeling the wheels off the bikes. Um, I gave up and I copped out and I got my jeweler saw and cut them off. That seemed to be the easiest way. But of course that means they still need to be reformed back on. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So for some reason I thought I'd have another go at dremeling the rear axle off and it didn't really well I got it dremel down then I had to try and poke it out and it wouldn't come out so I got the pliers and it wouldn't come out bang 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 so I had to hammer that out in the end so I went back to using the hacksaw or the jeweler saw now here I am trying to slice my fingers off like the genius I am I thought if I could just get this one original decal off and lay it out flat, take a photo of it, I'll be able to digitally manipulate it and restore it and make my own decals. So I got it off and this is what it looked like and after several hours of digital manipulation, this is my restoration effort. I was pretty pleased with it, viewers. All right, my least favorite part of restoring things is stripping the paint. Anyway, I've got to get that paint off and clean the bodies up. So neither of these trailers really had very many places to clip on to hold it while I painted it. The regular wheel, I could clip it onto the leaf springs on the back. It's still gonna leave a little bit of unpainted stuff, but I could touch that up. The super fast, however, uh, I had to put it across the drawbar and that meant, of course, going back in and repainting it and retouching it up and gave me a bit more grief than I thought it would. So I'm gonna file this flat, center punch it and try and drill the world's tiniest hole also, I can stick a little paper clip in and try and make a new handlebar.
So after I finished spray painting the wheels, I attacked the superfast with my Molotow pen. Now this time it's coming out really chrome, looking really good. But other times with the same pen it'll be dull and it won't look quite as chromey. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is, but anyway. So you can see I haven't changed those nails except that now I have since this video because this was the job that tipped me over the edge with those bloody nails. I've got some proper center punch ones and I'll show them to you in another video. So you saw me talk about the silver ghost that Johnny V sent me in the box. I couldn't bring myself to pull the tires off that one yet for some reason. So I pulled them off another one I had in the box and they are an exact fit. Hooray! So for my first attempt, I printed them on white backed paper. And this is some nasty stuff I got off the internet once uh, from eBay. And you get what you pay for. Uh, the colour started running out of them, uh, even though I put clear coat on them. Because uh, when you cut them, I think it breaks the seal. So after I cut the second set, I sprayed them with clear and that still wouldn't work. So. I uh, went back to Dr. Deckel and Mr. Hyde and got some quality paper and got some of this laser uh, laser printing stuff and the quality of these decals is a world away. The only problem is they're clear ones so you didn't get the white stripe. So what I decided I'd do or try is get my white paint pen and draw a line approximately where I thought it would show behind the clear one and put the decal over the top of it. And it actually kind of works, so I'm going to try this technique on a couple of other things as well. So you can see I've re-chromed the wheels here and I'm putting the Silver Ghost tyres on them which fit beautifully, that's fantastic. I don't think the originals were ever quite this chrome, they're probably more a bare alloy finish but anyway they look nice chrome or chromed up, that's a dumb thing to say. So all I've got to do now is find some new axles, make them long enough and form them back on. So I formed the axles back over and just like that we are done. So here we are back at the start with our dynamic duo of Honda motorbikes and trailers. Uh, thank you again John. Paul I hope you're happy with the job I've done on yours. Um, yeah they were simple models that proved to be a little bit more challenging than I expected them to be but I'm pretty pleased with the results this time for a change. We had better luck this week than we did with the decals last week. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, this is what we started with and here is what we're left with now. Tana. Looking so much better now they've got some paint on them and they've been re-chromed and straightened out. You can see the decals on the regular wheel have that white stripe through them thanks to that paint pen applied prior to putting the decal on top. Uh, the super fast one is just plain which isn't quite accurate. That still looks pretty good and it's certainly a better result than them going crackling and crazing because of clear coats and what have you. The Honda riding could be a touch smaller as well. It's a little bit oversized in my reproduction. So anyway, other than that, I'm well pleased with these ones and how they've come out. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bounce back from last week. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to all my viewers, old and new. Uh, thank you for choosing to spend some of your day with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you on Wednesday for another instalment of the ongoing Diecast unboxing videos. And before I forget, I have to give a shout out to my mother in law, Lindell. Happy birthday today, Lindell. That's like two shout outs in a row. You're welcome. Anyway, I'll see you next Friday uh, as well for the regular video. And until then, stay safe, keep well, and I will see you then. Bye!